TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow this family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see a little warning screen, man. Also, like I said, twitch.com, usernames at the bottom. That's where you catch any live streams. And we also got a Patreon where we post five days a week. That's stuff we can't watch on YouTube. This is Open All Hours, Season 1, Episode 2. Talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. Good old British classics, man. Try to know about this. This is all I strive to do is keep it P at the end of the my fault. Okay, Granville, how do you spell pepper pepper pepper? Is it six P's or seven? <laughs> I'm still stocking it, but it doesn't seem to be this widespread passion for treacle anymore. It's gone the way of trams and her uh, wreck it's blue. Well, uh, how's retirement suiting you then, Freddy? Oh, passable, passable. I'm getting used to it. Yeah, well, you've, uh, you've had a lot of training for it, haven't you? All them years at the call board. <laughs> I, uh, I don't think I'd fancy retirement myself, you know. I wouldn't mind it for the first six months, but I wouldn't like to earn me living at it. Quick question, do they have heat in the store? He always got his jacket on. Hey, uh, how's that daughter of yours, that youngest? Gillian? Yeah. Married an early health officer. Oh, yes. Always the one for glamour and excitement. <laughs> Cheeky little minx. <laughs> Ooh, what's she up to now, then? Running a pub at Driffield. Oh, dear. Is that what the nuclear deterrent come to, is it? <laughs> and I want a large pad of writing paper. Hey, you must have been retired longer than I thought, Freddy, if you've used up all that coal board stationery already. <laughs> Here you are. Here's a nice one. Look, look at that. Is that the biggest you've got? Listen, the next size to that is a roll of wallpaper. <laughs> I'm to do for a start. Yeah. I'm going to write my war memoirs. Oh, well, you'll need a packet of postcards, won't you? <laughs> a view from the home front. Oh. An absorbing personal record. I was there, you know, on the night they bombed Tomlinson Street. Yeah, I'll never know what Goering had against Tomlinson Street. <laughs> Unless it was that hy hygienic fisheries, you know. Perhaps he found out about the shape of Percy's chips. <laughs> That'll be 43p. Come on. I feel it's a duty to record it all for posterity. Yeah. My entire role in the whole affair. Yeah, well, I, I wondered why you were up so early this morning. Uh, what are you going to do this afternoon? Uh, World War Three? <laughs> it came to me in a dream. Oh. This voice said, Freddy, why don't you write your war memoirs? Up to that, I hadn't even thought of it. Well, yeah, there you don't, do you? Uh, oh, did you recognise the voice? Who was it? Well, at first I thought it must be God. Yes, well, you would at that time of night. <laughs> <laughs> but it turned out to be Mr. Samuelson from Gordon Street. Well, him with the, him with the horse and cart? Yes. Well, I'm surprised you thought he was God with the vocabulary he's got. <laughs> Unless he was talking about that place there down the road from Gomorrah. Sodom. Exactly, that's what I... <laughs> Why don't we get a van? What was that? Did you see it at all? I think the shop's haunted, you know, Freddy. Every time we do a shop delivery on the bike, this little angry figure appears, clad all in off-white, rattling its cycle clips. Moaning in an awful voice, why don't we get a van? Why don't we get a van? Do you it's think expensive. I haven't considered every factor? 
I've run, run it all through the computer, you know. It's all gone through this keen commercial brain, which is linked through all the ingenious circuits to, to my wallet. <laughs> Peddling wears out the insides of your legs. And I've always come up with the same answer. Keep Granville onto two wheels. Me calves are getting all knotted. <laughs> well, they are. They're getting all big and horrible. I don't go swimming anymore. I look like a rickshaw coolie. <laughs> Very embarrassing when you start to bulge in a swimming costume. <laughs> you look, I hope you don't expect me to deliver this lot, do you? No, I don't. There's all that lot over there, no. Hey, oh, no. <laughs> On a bike? Well, I don't know about that. He's back with the gas company. He's tried it once before, to my knowledge. Took an overdose. Oh, you have a laxative. Oh, dear. <laughs> what a terrible way to go. Or at least to uh, keep going. Wow. <laughs> tried a bit harder this time. He'd have done it and all of his clothesline hadn't broke. Well, you see, that's the trouble. They, they will be purchased from these supermarkets, won't they? Now, if he'd bought that, you see, that, that's that three and four all the way through. That wouldn't have let him down at the last minute. <laughs> Two pounds of King Edwards, please. Right. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Oh, Ellis. Good morning. Hello, Vera, love. Is there any more news about your... I'm still waiting for a bed. <laughs> I see your Granville stopped going out with Pembroke for his last. Oh, he's another one who's still waiting for a bed. <laughs> Here you are, Mrs. Oh. <laughs> I think you'd be better, better, yes. Did you see him from Harrison's? Parked outside 87 again. I'm not kidding. He does more with a gammy leg than most blokes do with two. Ah, oh, well, they're all the same, these sharp men. They're always having to prove themselves. It was him from the new housing estate. Napoleon. Oh, I don't know what you were called, but he always wore them fancy boots. Yeah, Earnshaw. Eh? Earnshaw. They lived in Eastfield Road, presumably after he escaped from St. Helena. <laughs> Apartment 87 is where the, 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 the lady lived at. You know what I'm saying? Dang, I can't wink. Oh, really? Something like that. Oh. Hey, you've weighed them once. Why are you taking them on off? Well, they've got, got heavier. <laughs> There must be the dust off the floor. <laughs> you know what? Well, we're, we're allowed to charge for dirt, you know. Ask her at number 87. <laughs> There's a cold front coming in from the Atlantic here. You ought to go get something a bit warm around your chest. Like a hot shopkeeper. <laughs> what makes you think you're more appealing than an extra vest? You're a big bonny lass, you know. If we don't get engaged soon, I won't have time to explore all of you, will I? Have you tried? Bro, Riz is kind of, kind of, it's prehistoric, but it's on a point. Like, he ain't really risen, but he he really is spitting game, though. He's shooting his shot at every chance he get. Loosening your collar. <laughs> no, no, no. What I want to do is to try loosening yours. <laughs> You know, I've never looked down as a state registered nurse. It's that shop that's doing it to you. You're stuck in there all day, every day, breathing in that spicy mixture of fire lighters and lavatory cleaners. Look, why do, don't we get engaged? Then I could give you a discount. Why don't we just stop as we are, having a laugh and a joke with you goosing me occasionally? When I'm not looking. Hey, lass. You know what? I'd like to see you in a red dress with a rose in your hair, doing a flamenco. All oh, right. And if we got married within 24 hours, you'd have me in an apron with curlers in my hair, doing a casserole. <laughs> Boy. Fan they meant for each other, look good. See the Americans paying all that money for Disneyland when they could have had Marxism for nothing. 
<laughs> Who? Supposed to be the age of women's lib. I don't think they got the hang of it yet. I'm still waiting to be molested. <laughs> the extreme left. That's all we ever hear about, isn't it? The, the, the extreme left. Funny expression, that, isn't it? The extreme left. It's like a lot of leftovers, isn't it? <laughs> it's like all them little bits at the end of a, a party that nobody wants. <laughs> Come to think of it, that's not far off the truth. <laughs> I haven't even had a request played on family favourites. It says here this smiling young actress is tipped for stardom. And as usual, you can see both the tips quite distinctly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you realise how old I am? And the only thing I've ever handled intimately was last year's Christmas turkey. <laughs> Nah, last episode you went to old girl house. She poured you in. She was nude. And that was frozen. <laughs> Loosen your cacap, your head's steaming. <laughs> Happiness is a game for two players. You used to like the train spotting. What happened to your train spotting? <laughs> I wish we'd still got an empire. Yeah, it's a fair pity they pulled that down, wasn't it? <laughs> But I'd like to spend the monsoon season with a Eurasian mistress. You know, come back after a hard day flogging the natives. And there she is, waiting. Yeah, with almond eyes and 83 relatives on the borough. <laughs> it's not that I want to be promiscuous. Well, yes it is really, but I can't afford it. I'd settle for one nerve-tingling affair. Hey, well, watch what you're doing with them chips. They're 7p each now, you know. <laughs> yeah, before I settle down for good, I'd like to have a spot of colour in my life. Yeah, and when they turn... Did I make homemade chips? Do y'all make homemade chips a lot in the UK? Like, wait, homemade chips? Hey, he's cutting potatoes in circles, so those are crisp. Why you call them chips? Am I, did I miss something or did I just discover an error? Turn up them coloured spots, you'll be sorry. <laughs> I'd like to tame some very sport, very rich young woman, you know. Heiress elopes with shopkeeper's assistant. Is that what you want to be, eh? An international playboy on the Riviera circuit? Yes. Well, and throw up the only agency around here for back sweep. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we both need? Oh, I know what I need, a towel. Transport. Rubbish. Look, you can pick up an old van these days. It's for a song. Yes, and, and guess who's a, a wallet's going to get laryngitis? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can, you, you can get all your stuff from the warehouse, you know, still waiting for them to deliver. I am in no hurry. The nurse might go out with you more. Listen, you don't think I'm going to, going to buy a van just because... Why would the nurse go out with me more? Well, because you could take her out of the district. I mean, she gets embarrassed round here. People know you both. I mean, if you nip over to her place, there are 40 pairs of beady eyes in the street trained on her bedroom window. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's cheaper ju just to draw the curtains. <laughs> you won't have anything to draw them for if you don't get transport. How old a van do you think she'd go out in? Well, I, well, I... Uh, yeah, finesse it. And that's your work, man. I could do it up, you know, make it nice inside. It would need something in the back, you know, for people to sit on. Like the mattress in the spare bedroom. <laughs> that's disgusting. It'll need airing. <laughs> I, uh, I'll just have a look at my licence. I know, I know I'm allowed to drive groups A, B, C and D, but I'm, I'm not sure about a mattress on wheels. As long as it's under 1,500 weight. Well, I certainly am. But you see, there's the nurse to think about on top of me. <laughs> that boy having a hot flash about that freaky van he about to get. <laughs> you want something that goes a long way on a gallon? Listen, with petrol the price it is, I want something that goes the whole way on a half a pint. Aye, <laughs> ah, don't we all? <laughs> with almond eyes. <laughs> Here's one. Two owners, African Tan and Melba. They sound Ooh. like the three owners. <laughs> that's the colour. Oh, the colour. Well, that's, a, that's very informative, isn't it? Well, it's the power of advertising. You know, makes it sound better. They've got to have an attractive name. I mean, you wouldn't spend four quid on a bottle of perfume called Sweaty Elbows. <laughs> hey, look at this. 
Recent new engine. I'm not not paying that sort of money. Where do they get the engine from? Ca Concord. <laughs> I hope you're not going to shame me. I hope you're not going to have us running about an old banger that looks like a converted outside toilet. <laughs> and you don't know where you get these jet set attitudes from, I'm sure. Your mother was down to earth. A bit too often for her own good, but she meant well. <laughs> do you forget? Nobody knows who my father really was. Can I have a choc ice? You know you can. You don't need to ask, Granville. Listen, Granville, you're orphan, you may be, but I want you to know that you've always got a home here, lad. Or chalk ice. I mean, good, good times are bad. Whatever is mine is yours. Providing you always put your money straight in the till. Go on. I bet if my mother had lived, my father would have come back and claimed her. Oh, yes. In a, in a, in a big black car with a big crest on the door. Hi, maybe. Yeah. West riding radio taxis. <laughs> <laughs> Who did she go out with? Well, there were a lot of ho ha ho ho Hungarians at the uh, at the miners' ho ha hostel. <laughs> ah, some displaced aristocrat fleeing from the revolution. Hey, <laughs> you know what I want for my birthday? A balalaika. That's all right. I'll see if I can get one uh, knitted for you. <laughs> Now listen, you've made a 93p profit so far. Are you going to put a pound in there or not? No, no, I want you to put it in. It's that spring clip is vicious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. That spring, that little clip want all the smoke with y'all. Hey, oh! Need to get a new register. Hello, Eva. How are you? I want something for his tea. Something fatal, but untraceable. <laughs> I know. What about a nice a bacon end? That'll boil and come up sweet. Oh, I'll have some fish fingers. Fish fingers. I get no end of pleasure watching him eat fish fingers, you know. It's like bingo, really. I keep waiting mm -hmm, brother, I didn't for him to come up with a... I didn't buy this for you to eat it. You know what I'm saying? This was 7p. I want a refund. At that point, you done bit it. I don't know where your mouth been. I know where it, well, I know where it ain't been, not on that nurse, but you know what I'm saying? A winner of a bone. <laughs> oh, thanks, Granville. Hey, I like your Granville. He looks like the kind of young man who'd be reckless enough to do something desperate for the love of a good woman. <coughs> Go, Granville, fair fetch your cloth. Go on. <laughs> There's some apples in that warehouse need polishing. You always have to go when customers get interested. Go on with you. Yes. She warms my Hungarian blood. Well, if you don't go and melt that all over the place and clear off. <laughs> Told you not to get him excited, Eva. He's a Bro's eating the whole ice cream. He took one bite, like this is really bothering me. He paid for it. Very funny age at the moment. I mean, he's, he's reading everything but the Grocer's Gazette. Oh, you mean that age when men are difficult to live with? Starts when they're 14 and finishes when they pass out of the crematorium. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, I better have some fire lighters. <laughs> Listen, you're supposed to wait till he's dead first. <laughs> Everybody keeps telling me he's drinking himself to death, but I've come to the conclusion they're just trying to cheer me up. <laughs> you fancy an apple, Eva? Oh, no, thanks, love. He's loosened me that many teeth that really I'm much happier with a banana. <laughs> Here. Oh, it's only kidding, she love. Was, she was only kidding. Oh, well. Take it anyway. I woke up this morning with a powerful urge to give someone a banana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the sexual innuendos. Is that what that... Is that a, did I say it right? Is that in the right setting? The sexual undertone of this show is crazy. Oh, you're a good lad, Granville. I'll come and give you a big kiss in a minute. Yeah. Couldn't you get like, what's that, salmonella? Don't be so awful with him. Can't even take the banana. She wasn't only kidding, but he has loosened all her teeth. And how's he going to feel when he finds out she's having an affair with a big banana magnet? <laughs> Listen, she's very unhappy. 
I might take her out one of these nights, you know, down the old disco. And there's nothing that you could say that'd stop me either. Her husband's been convicted of assaulting policemen. She's a married woman. I can't go out with married women. <laughs> God, you know what I'm saying? Her tub's been tough. You don't want no smoke. Very moral, you Hungarians, aren't you? He looks greasy. Sneaky. Aye, she's a great little workhorse. I shall be very sorry to say ta ta to her. Yeah, well, you needn't bother at that price, need you? Oh, no. We're not going to have a thoroughly boring old argument about money, are we? I'm not. I'm going to have a thoroughly enjoyable argument about money. <laughs> well, he means it and all. In the past 18 months, the motor trade's gone completely to pieces. Customers have got no respect anymore. 675, he said. Well, and naturally, I thought he was talking about the number plate, didn't I? <laughs> 670 by now? That is rock bottom for that sort of a vehicle. You see, that's rock bottom. You wash your mouth out. <laughs> I didn't bring you up to talk loosely about money, did I? Close your eyes and think of the mattress in the back. <laughs> you see, he's torn between these powerful, conflicting emotions. He'll soothe himself in a minute by counting all the change in the till. <laughs> What are we arguing about? A few pounds? You get a four poster in the back of that one. <laughs> uh, we've got this bit of a gap. I am asking six, five, five, and you are prepared to offer to a 120. <laughs> that is very. That. That is very far off the number. Cash. And uh, 14p for the bent bread. <laughs> I thought you were a serious prospect. I mean, I only come round to serious prospects. I could be in the showroom, drinking coffee, under sealing the new typist. <laughs> Bring us something near our price. There's plenty of room in the back. Definitely can't both fit through there. Y'all gotta go one at a time. It's decent. <coughs> Would you care to inspect the interior woodwork? Hey, stop. Is that a hearse? <laughs> Sir, I guarantee you, you're giving yourself way too much credit. And I'm not trying to judge you. Could, hey, listen, but I'm going to judge a book by its cover at this stage in life. You know what I'm saying? It's not looking like you need to be checking the shocks and absorption up there. You good. <laughs> good, brother. Oh, well, uh, what do you think? Tell you what we do. Why, why don't you leave it on approval? Oh, I couldn't do that, Mr. Arkwright. Oh. Until tomorrow, maybe. Ah, good. That, that will enable me to test its suitability for a variety of uh, retail purposes.
Are you telling me I'll never play a game, Doctor? We've tried everything within our power. The nerve is gone. I'm sorry. Oh, God. I guess it's all up to you now, Mrs. Mortensen. But we filed for a those, divorce, Doctor. Are those mince pies? He needs you, Mrs. Mortensen. Yes. Jim. Jim. Is that you, Martha? Yes, Jim. It's me, Martha. It's me, Arkwright. Oh, Go away! <laughs> oh, that's very nice of you. Oh, come in. Shut the door. We'll talk about that later, Jim. You got it. Oh, yes, well, I appreciate the I've got a jam all over me warehouse coat. You really Be quiet. It's me. Sell the piano. You'll never sell your piano, Jim. You gotta practice, Jim, and practice till you're the first one-handed pianist in the whole world. Uh. <laughs> I've got mints all on me warehouse gold. <laughs> oh, you know I could do with you, Arkwright, but you will persist in trampling down what few romantic illusions I've got left. You say that to me? There's a spirit of eternal springtime. <laughs> Come, not only to offer you my affection, but the chance of a good grapple in the new vehicle. <laughs> you finally lashed out on some transport? I, uh, well, it wasn't easy. Oh, you'd better have a cup of tea. Well, if it's all the same for you, Gladys and Manuel, I'd sooner have a night. I know what you'd sooner have, but you're getting a cup of tea. Oh. <clears throat> well, well, well. The new mobile art right. Yes, can I come to invite you for a nocturnal spin? A spin? <laughs> if you're taking me out, you're taking me out. It'll cost money. We'll have a meal. And a bottle of wine. Listen, the way I feel about you, I could go it on half a lager and a salted peanut. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't. You've got some ground to cover before you get me up any country lane. Uh, I've got a bit of ground to cover after I get you up there, though. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a me. Who's the writer for his lines? These are his comeback games, serious. Neil, is it? Yes. Uh, that's your last word, is it? No. My last word's going to be something like, get your hand off there, that's far enough. But that's my position so far. Take it or leave it. Well? Well, I'm thinking about it. But, dude, don't think too hard, not in front of her. <laughs> What's to think about? Well, if I better buy half a bottle of wine, couldn't you do some sandwiches? <laughs> get out. No. Get out of my house, all Arkwright. All right, all right. I'll buy you a meal, then. You romantic fool. Oh, I love the way your eyes flash when you get mad. <laughs> I must be trying to civilise you. I'll say one thing for you. You're not much trouble. You've got wandering hands, but I've only got to shout burglars, and the back round your wallet lies grease lightning. <laughs> I'll take your mother a tea. She must be parched. <laughs> hey, who's going to sit with her when we're out? Well, I can't Randall Scott do it. I mean, anyway, with all that noise going on in there, I don't see any reason to go out. Why don't we stay and save the petrol? Gunfire's one thing, but at the first creak of a settee, she'll be banging on the wall with a stick. Oh. Yeah, mother, here's your tea, love. Ooh. Hey, was your Brian all right when you left him? Uh, how do you mean? Well, I was just looking out the window, and right outside your shop, there's this great big black old... <laughs> you have... That's the will. Haven't have you? No. Oh, uh, oh, you wouldn't. Well, the, the, the price was right. Oh! Get out, you great stingy dog's body! You needn't think you're taking me out in that. I mean, I know I have to be laid in one of those one day, but not until it's absolute. I knew it was a hearse. You gotta like make it look appealing-ish. Necessary. <laughs> Well, I tell you, she said she uh, wouldn't be seen dead in it. <laughs> you better get the garage on the blower, see what else they've got. Hello, Arkwright. Hmm? Oh, hello, Auntie Lily. No, 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 he's gone out for a ride in the new van. Hey, no, 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 it's not on business. No. It's his old troublers reared up again, and he's going to receive some medical attention. <laughs> if he plays his cards right. 
Oh, she actually went oh. out, huh? That wine's gone straight to me legs. Uh, I, I think I'll jo join it. <laughs> oh. uh, hey, you got your foot in me pocket. Well, I'm terribly sorry. I'd hate to crush your wallet. <laughs> oh, hey, could you get that, that leg in there first? <laughs> hey, my mind where you're putting your feet. You'll, you'll dirty the roof. Are they actually going? He actually getting some play? Ooh. If you're going to hold me there, would you mind blowing on your fingers a minute? <laughs> hey, don't, don't move your knee. Whatever you do, do, do. They need to get a bed. They too old to be in this van like this. Don't move that thing. This is... Speaking of van, this is giving me... Never mind, I'm gonna say it. Ridiculous. Give it a chance, we haven't started yet. Could you got something bigger? Would you care to rephrase that, please? Oh, 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 take me home. It's worse than trash. No, look, it's just the wheel arts, that's all. I mean, all generations have been brought up on obstacles like this. Heavens, what bliss! Just you and me and the wheel arch. <laughs> Take me home. Well, what, what's in it for me? A cup of cocoa. <laughs> well, I hope there's plenty of sugar in it. <laughs> Man, he had space and opportunity. He just didn't convert, Man, y'all. We had on a whole suit. What was he supposed to be? Oh. Oh. Don't like the key. It is kind of small. I'll kill that Granville. Him and his fans. Oh. This one goes back tomorrow. Hey. How do you fancy a cuddle on a shop bike? Oh. Hey. <laughs> Just shows you, doesn't it? Beware of the large ambitions in small vans. <laughs> I thought I'd pull it off this time. Of Fortunately, course. it's only bruised. <laughs> so it's back my lonely bed. I enjoyed that good night kiss, though. She got a lot, a lot of Eastern promise behind that faint flavor. Of you know what's crazy? Like he be saying the craziest stuff to this woman, but she actually liked the man. It was actually, he was about to convert, but the van size messed it up. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? You just got to speak your truths sometimes, and that's what he do. Oh, Coco. <laughs> Rotten little van. Good place to park, though. I must try and remember. I think it was uh, just over the hump of her knee and sharp left at the first suspender. <laughs> Okay, this guy, I don't I never even heard of him before, but he's funny. What's his name? What's his name? See, I'm gonna leave a like, comment, subscribe. Go.